If this tiger seems mad, he is sort of. Stronach is trying to intimidate a visitor. Tigers use their roars to communicate, but it turns out there's much more to a tiger sound that could possibly help save the species. What we have discovered with our research is that tiger voices can be used like a fingerprint for individuals. At zoos across the country, researchers are capturing the tiger sounds using these audio boxes. Well, looking at it in this uh, sound analysis software is you're actually looking at the inner workings of a tiger's vocal cords. So you're seeing the vibrations, the frequency vibrations that they make when they call. The Proustin Project says they can currently figure out the sex based on the sounds and hope to eventually get weight and age. Mm -hmm. The goal is to build a computer program to help identify specific tigers in the wild, to determine more accurate population numbers so organizations know where to focus protection efforts. The Milwaukee County Zoo recently finished recording four Amir tigers. Most zookeepers, we get into this because we love animals and we love, we want to do something for conservation. Well, you can't do um, a lot with conservation Good. all the time. So to be able to be part of a project that really like is directly linked to conservation is a really cool thing for us. Among the sounds they picked up, chuffing, which is like a greeting. Ultimately, the project plans to place recorders in the wild possibly starting in India or Indonesia next year. You know, they're, they're helping their cousins in the wild, and right now tigers need the help in the wild as much as they can get. A rallying call <laughs> to help the less than 4,000 tigers left living in the wild. Left li Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press. Press.